Hey guys, in this demo project, we'll install ELK Stack or Elasticsearch Logstash and Kibana using Ansible. For those who are not aware, Elasticsearch is a distributed open source search and analytics engine which can be used to search on and analyze all type of data including textual, numerical, geospatial, structured and unstructured data. We will use Google Cloud Platform or GCP to host this demo setup since it provides free $300 USD to trial the platform. This should be enough for our demo. However, you are free to choose any of the other public clouds or even your own lab on-premise lab servers to host this demo. Here's what our setup would look like. We will have a single server to host the ELK stack which is again Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. We'll also install multiple beats on this server so that we can monitor this server from our ELK stack as well. Next, we will install two web servers with a sample web page each and install multiple beats on these web servers to send the monitoring information to our ELK stack. We will also secure this ELK stack using XPAC security feature during this demo. Before we start the deployment, I would like to give you a brief overview of each of these Elasticsearch products that we will deploy in this lab. Elasticsearch is an open source RESTful distributed search and analytics engine built upon Apache Lucene. Logstash is an open source server-side data processing pipeline that ingests data from a number of sources, transforms it and then sends it to Elasticsearch. Kibana is an open source data visualization dashboard for Elasticsearch. In simple words, let's say you have application log data from application servers. Now, in case you do not need to do any processing on that data, you can send it to Elasticsearch directly to be stored and indexed. However, if you do need to do some custom processing, for example, you might need to add a customer ID to a log event so that you can tie a particular log event to a particular customer, you will first have to send that data to Logstash, do the processing or transformation, and then send it to Elasticsearch to be stored. Once the data is stored and indexed in Elasticsearch, you can use Kibana to create some visualizations on top of that data. Now let's talk about Beats. Beats are essentially lightweight purpose-built agents that acquire data and then feed it to Elasticsearch. Beats are built upon libbeat framework and it makes it easy to create customized beats for any type of data that you'd like to send to Elasticsearch. So, beats have standard beats that are available which I've listed on screen. If one of these beats does not do the job, you can use the libbeat framework to create your customized beat. So let's talk about some of the standard beats. First, let's talk about file beat. FileBeat is a lightweight shipper for forwarding and centralizing log data. Installed as an agent on the target server, FileBeat monitors the log files or locations that you specify, collects log events and forwards them either to Elasticsearch or Logstash for indexing. AuditBeat is a lightweight shipper that you can install on your servers to audit the activities of users and processes on your system. For example, you can use AuditBeat to collect and centralize audit events from Linux Audit D framework. Metric Beat is a lightweight shipper that you can install on your servers to periodically collect metrics from the operating system and from services running on the server. Metric Beat takes the metrics and statistics it collects and ships the output to either Elasticsearch or Logstash. Heartbeat is a lightweight daemon that you install on a remote server to periodically check the status of your services and determine whether they are available. The difference between metric beat and heartbeat is that metric beat only tells you if your servers are up or down, whereas heartbeat tells you whether your services are available. So for example, let's say you've got Apache installed on a server, metric beat will tell you if the server is up or down, heartbeat will actually tell you if your website is up or down. PacketBeat is a real-time packet analyzer that you can use with Elasticsearch to provide an application monitoring and performance analytics system. PacketBeat provides visibility of communication happening between the servers in your network. 
Journal Beat is a lightweight shipper for forwarding and centralizing log data from system read journals. It is also installed as an agent on your servers and it monitors journal locations that you specify, collect log events, and then forwards these events to either Elasticsearch or Logstash. Winlog Beat ships Windows event logs to either Elasticsearch or Logstash. It is installed as a Windows service. Function Beat is an Elastic Beat that you deploy as a function in your serverless environment to collect data from cloud services and ship it to Elasticsearch. With this, let's have a look at the lab architecture. We'll create a new VPC, which is like customer's private network inside GCP. We'll then create two subnets inside your VPC, one to host Elk servers and one to host web servers. This is to mimic the real world scenario where your monitoring cluster will generally be separate from your application cluster. We'll then create some firewall rules to secure our environment. After that, we'll create a single node for our ELK cluster and two web servers using GCP's Compute Engine service, which allows you to create your own virtual machines in the cloud. Admin access to this environment will be secured using SSH keys. For public access, we will allow port 9200 used by Elasticsearch and port 5601 used by Kibana. Access to ELK stack will be secured using XPAC authentication. And for web server, we will allow HTTP port 80 to be accessed by general public. Now, in the next lecture, let's have a look at how we will deploy this lab. Thank you for